This video is entitled A Sequence in RoboWalkie. RoboWalkie is this uh, little program you see on the screen that, that you can download from Blackboard. And basically, you're in charge of telling this little blue robot, you see the little little smiley face guy, your, your job is to tell him what to do. And during the RoboWalkie exercises coming up, we're going to talk about four major concepts used in computer programming. The first sequence, iteration, indirection, and selection. Um, this first video is entitled Sequence. So, to move the robot, you can use four letters to move the robot. The robot can go F forward, B back, turn right, which is clockwise, depending upon where the robot is, and left, which would be turned counterclockwise. So, let us come up with a sequence. And a sequence is a series of steps, one right after the other, boom, 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 that we do, that we use to solve a problem. Let's think about the sequence to get little robot there over to get to where the coin is. So the object of the game is to move the robot from where the robot is over to the coin. We type our sequence here in the code box. And then once we have the sequence typed in, we can then hit the run code box. And here there's a drop down where we can get to all of the problems in the book, as well as some examples and some, some other problems I'm currently playing with, other RoboWalkie worlds. Because that's what we call the little box there where the robot is, is going to dance around for us. So what is the sequence to get the robot to move to the coin? Well. If the robot moves forward right now, the robot's going to run off into a hole, isn't he? Isn't it? She, they, let's use a gender non-specific. So the robot would move into that black square and die because the robot can't go on black squares. He's got to go on the squares that, that are, are, are there to go on. So the first thing the robot needs to do is turn counterclockwise, doesn't he? He is she it. <laughs> um, so so let's rotate the robot counterclockwise and I'm going to come up here in code and say L because L is the statement for counterclockwise. So and I hit run code and we can watch the robot now turn. Okay, well that's fun. We can reset the world back to its original um, state by hitting the reset world. Um, there's an about button which just basically says it's copyright by me and a help button with very rudimentary help but the PDF that you'll find on Blackboard is so much better. Um, clear code will clear your code box if, if you don't want to select it and hit the delete button. Run code will run and stop will run a will stop a currently running program if there is one. You can also see that, uh, well, it said the robot found all coins in one move, which is a bug in the program because it should say robot found, didn't find any coins. Um, I'll get that fixed before you all see it. But, so what's the next step for the robot to do? What's the next thing the robot needs to do? Well, after he turns left, boom, and faces up, it needs to go forward one space. Well, Remember I said the command for forward is F. So L, F. So L, F will turn the robot counterclockwise 20, uh, a quarter of the way, move forward one, so it's now moved up to the cell that's up in the top corner. Then we want it to turn right, and then we want it to go forward two more times, don't we? And that will take it to the coin. So if I say left forward right forward forward um, so notice the sequence is L F R F F which is a little simple computer program that says hey robot turn go forward turn again go forward a couple of more and there you are and then I hit run and we can watch little robot go left bump, 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 uh, yay we did it so the idea of sequence is is the concept that we go step by step by step by step um, to solve a problem. 
It's a very logical thing. And if our sequence had been done, even if we'd used the same letters, but we put them in a different order, if we told the robot to turn right instead of turn left, or we told the robot to go forward instead of turning, and the robot ran off the edge of the world, because this is the flat world society here the robot lives in. Um, it's, it's not a big world. It's just that little, little flat world. Um, the robot can't go off the edge of the world, so that would be the end of the robot. So sequence matters. The order matters. Um, you can uh, play with this. Maybe you can come up with some other sequences that do it. But one of the things we want to do in RoboWalkie for a lot of the examples is to find the most correctest, uh, the shortest, the quickest way to get the robot from its start to its end. You know, when you stop and think about the problem-solving methodologies that were covered in the previous chapters, what are the initial conditions? Well, the initial condition is the world you see when you first start. When I hit the reset world, you can see that that's the initial condition. What's the final condition? Well, the final condition is the robot has to collect or land on all of the coins. If there are more than one coin, the robot has to get to all of the coins. So the final condition would be uh, collect all the coins. And then the actual steps, the sequence, are what order of turns and forwards and backs do we want the robot to do. So that's an introduction to RoboWalkie and an introduction to RoboWalkie sequence. And that's kind of the, the first of these four videos. I'd like to thank you for watching. This video is copyright 2021 by James M. Bruno, PhD, all rights reserved. If you have any questions or issues, please contact me at jreno at shawnee.edu. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.